I love, I love action movies. And there's always a hero in every action movie. And he's always trying to accomplish some great mission. And if you notice, everybody thinks, oh, wow, he's the hero. He's the one that's going to get the job done. But every hero has a little sidekick or a group that's with him. And they're helping him through the mission. And there always comes some point when the bad guys are chasing him. And they all, the group tells the hero, you go on and accomplish the mission. We got this under control. We're going to buy you some time. And so you think missionaries are the ones we need sharing Jesus everywhere. No. You are the group. We're the ones that are needing to go to accomplish the mission. And so there needs to come a point when believers here in the United States say, we have this here. You go over there and get them because they don't have anybody. And so Sarah and I have answered the call of God on our lives that we've been appointed as missionaries to Taiwan for two years. Uh, and we're super excited about it. They don't have people making disciples among them. And we get to go and we make disciples. And then someday we're going to see Revelations 5 play out. And we're going to all stand before the throne of God. And I'm going to get to see Taiwanese believers that we've ministered to there. And we're going to see American believers. And we're going to see Hispanic believers and people from every tribe, nation, tongue, and language. So after the service, Sarah and I will be out here. We've got more information. What we prefer to do is we have a lot of information about the mission we're going to be doing. Uh, we don't like doing that in a larger presentation because it's a very intimate thing. We're inviting people to ministry with us. And so if we just give you some stats and some statistics and tell you a little bit about what we're doing, it's like, oh, yeah, that's nice, you go home. But what we like to do is we like to sit down with you and personally present you to the ministry. We like for you to be able to ask questions, for you to be able to dive into it with us. Who are the Taiwanese people? You know, what are the needs there? You have questions come on your heart. We love to be able to answer that. We want you to be included. We want to be able to send you our prayer updates. We want to be able to send you email notifications telling you, hey, this is what's going on in Taiwan right now. We, we need prayer warriors back here so that when we're up against the fortresses of the enemy, when we're looking at uh, Jinping and, and Lian, you know, we're, we're ministering to these two people. We need to be able to send let, notices home. Hey, would you please pray for these people? Because right now the enemy has them buried under all this idolatry. And then we want to be able to write back to you a month later. Hey, guess what? Jinping accepted Christ today. And guess what? You had a part in that because you were praying and you were ministering and you have been wrestling with the Lord over the, that people for their salvation. And so we want you to be exposed to that. So we'll be right out here to give you a little bit more information. Uh, but I want to leave you all in closing with one bit of statistics to show you just how easy discipleship is. Why God chose that model. We think mass evangelism, big programs. No, God chose training individuals. If I commit to disciple three people this year, and every year, only three, at the end of year one, there will be four Christians, myself and three more disciples. At the end of year three, if those three disciples of mine are all making their own three disciples, and I continue making three new disciples every year, at the end of th year three, there are now 64 Christians, nine of whom I have discipled. At the end of year five, there are 1,024 Christians only 15 of whom I have discipled. At the end of year 7, there are 16,384 Christians, only 21 of whom I have discipled. If this trend continues by the end of year 14, I will have discipled only 42 people. But almost 269 million people will have been discipled. Can you imagine discipling the population of the United States in only 14 years? So, and even if you did the math and you sent out 10% of those new believers as missionaries, 2.6 million, million missionaries would be sent out in 14 years. And 236 million people would still be discipled here in the U.S. So, discipleship is entirely possible and it is the method that God has chosen. And so he is sending some of us. I love, I don't know how many of you know John Piper. I love the, the man. He is an awesome man of God. And he says that there are three kinds of Christians. There are those that are going, there are those that are sending, and then there are those who are being disobedient. Because every Christian has the call to go and make disciples. So thank you all very much. I am so excited to be here with you. I love you all very much, and I am so excited to see what's going on here in Horizons. So.